So I finally got the chance to put the Sword Maiden demo character that you see me use in all my Unreal 5 tutorial videos available on my ArtStation shop. Now, just to be completely transparent, this character was originally designed as a clothing physics test, so it's not perfect. I'm sure someone who is a professional Unreal Blueprint physics programmer could probably do a better job applying the clothing and hair physics, but since I'm primarily a 3D character modeler, it's not really something that I really focus on. But what I can tell you is the cloth physics that it does have actually work surprisingly well, almost all the time. The only time that the hair and the clothing will get a little bit funny is if the character is doing some crazy fast animations. But other than that, the hair and clothing behave surprisingly well. As usual for all my characters, she is using the default third-person mannequin as a skeletal base, so she is compatible with all the default Unreal 5 animations out of the box. And she's also applied straight to the third-person blueprint already. Also, if you want to make adjustments to the mesh directly, I have included the original Blender file that I used to set the model up for Unreal. So if you know how to Blender and you want to change something, then you can just make your own adjustments. And if you want to mess with the original rig or animation, then I am also including the raw Maya file, which contains the original rig that I used to white paint and get everything set up for Unreal 5. Frame 0 is the rest position, and frame 1 is where the animations start. And on frame 1, there's a parent constraint on the right hand, so that when you move the sword with the left hand, the right hand automatically follows it. Also, keep in mind that because all of my characters were designed for custom colors and Unreal, the textures they have in Blender and Maya don't really make sense. But you can easily drag and drop the baked textures in if you want to set things up for some sort of render. All of that is included in the personal license variant of the asset, but if you get the commercial variant, I've added a few extra things, which include 31 animations that I have manually hand animated for third person movement. These also include three slash animations, and as a little bonus, I've adjusted the third person blueprint so that when you left click, she'll do a little one, two, three slash combo out of the box. So the commercial license includes extra animations and combo animation blueprints for those of you who need it. And that just about sums up the character. I hope she helps bring some beauty and class to your Unreal Fantasy games. It's been a lot of fun for me to create, but regardless, thanks for watching, and as always, hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.